YouTubers. I'm being quiet because Amber's still asleep. I'm always up early. Um, I'm going to clean a pipe while I'm talking to you. Uh, lead crayon. Russ, which I think should be lead crayon because it's spelled the same way lead and lead, you know. But anyway, lead crayon has a, a drawing contest for his subs. I think it was 95 subs plus, but now he's like 130 or more. He's an awesome guy. Stand-up guy. I know this is the truth. He's a stand-up guy. I watched one of his videos and he was standing up. Oh, I just threw tobacco everywhere. Anyway, he wants us to use talking about your favorite lead, most inspirational, you know, lead musical riff in a song. And I thought I would enter this. I wrote a comment on his page saying that this is hard for me because I have so many favorite little leads in different genres of music too, you know. Um, but let's I'll, st I'll do rock right now and let's go through some of my favorite lead moments. Here's one uh, by in, in a Steely Dan song called My Old School. Walter Becker, phenomenal guitar player with an incredible um, ear for leads, rhythmic little, you know, tick, tick, tick stuff in there going on with great little runs. And uh, the song came from the album... I don't remember the name of the album. It came out in 1973. Give me a second, I'll tell you the name of the damn album because I have no memory. Countdown to Ecstasy. Thank you. I love Wikipedia. <laughs> it's so helpful for me. Anyway, here's a little bit of a lead right in the middle of the song, My Old School. <laughs> Speedwagon fan and their lead guitar player Gary Richrath Rich depends on how you want to pronounce his name another phenomenal rock and roll lead guitar player um, really flows well I mean he unlike a, a rhythmic kind of a lead that say a, a Keith Richards would do or a Walter Becker Gary is fluid, very fluid with his runs. And uh, in the song Roll of the Changes, just about any part of this song is awesome. But I really like the beginning, right, right when it kicks into the beginning of the song and you know something good is coming by the way he runs up his good. Listen to this. <laughs> Now, Russ, let's move on. Um, that was kind of my high school days faves, and then I kind of got a little older. I kind of got into Paul Simon, real heavy into Paul Simon. Really like his stuff, but his stuff really wasn't the leads that were so much. Well, there is the bass lead that he runs in uh, You Can Call Me Al. Let's give a listen to that one, the bass run in You Can Call Me Al. <laughs> That's one for Silver Shadow. Silver Shadow needs to learn that one. It's a good one. I bet you he could do it too. Silver's a monster bass player, guys, in case you didn't know. Um, also, Ball Simon. Musically, to me, one of the greatest American musical composers for contemporary music. Um, the, the guitar line, the chord structure of... Um, Something So Right is amazing. Uh, here's a little bit of it I did. Now, again, forgive the singing because I suck. I can't sing. I can barely play guitar. Um, but I like this little piece here. You got the cool. 
song sounds go get Paul Simon's something so right it's really good he does it very <laughs> he does it a lot better than I do I wanted to say some I was watching the contest <clears throat> the drawing some of the entries and uh, in case y'all don't know uh, David Faraday is a pretty darn good guitar player I'm really impressed uh, but now I've saved my favorite for last this has got to be my favorite uh, guitar run jazz musician period. His name is Joe Pass. Joe Pass is a virtuoso. I don't know any other way to describe him other than, in my opinion, the best guitar player in the world. So here's a little Joe Pass playing uh, Misty. <laughs> Thank you. 